was so against it. <laughs> she was like, no, I don't want to go. channel i wake up quite early so i woke up around 5 10 and i started editing for the couple channel the asthma channel and usually when i'm editing i don't really brush my teeth or anything because i don't like to like get into so much stuff like activities standing because then i get so lazy and then i end up not editing so i just wake up sit on the bed and then start editing and then when i'm done i can have breakfast and stuff i literally just had a banana and some chia yogurt in bed and while i was editing now i'm just gonna brush my teeth i know i should probably first brush my teeth when i wake up in the morning but i prefer to do it after the editing and then i'm gonna wash my face and we're gonna start the day I know this might look queer to you guys, but I kind of brush my teeth twice. First week, <laughs> Elmex Repair and Prevent. It has pro-arginine zinc. And then I use the Sensodyne Extra Whitening. Sometimes I just mix them together, but since I forgot to mix them, because I'm so preoccupied making this vlog, I'm going to brush twice. to wash my face I also use the Ren Ready Steady Glow it's a toner I don't tone and cleanse at the same time usually I know it's supposed to be like that or that's what the YouTube makeup experts say you should do but I don't really do that it's either I use this or or it's either I use this or I don't really like you know do the whole shabang usually I feel like I need to shave my face. It's so weird because I've started weirdly breaking out around my chin and around my lips. It's so weird because I'm not breaking out up here. I'm breaking out around this place and it's like pimples would pass. I mean, that has never happened to me before. So I'm really like wondering what that is. I don't know if it's because of the weather or what exactly is happening, but yeah. And this is another weird thing I do. I clench or apply mask on my lips because I feel like they're equally as important to be cleansed and cleaned, you know, like deep cleaning. And I also do my neck. I know a lot of you guys do your necks too. I try so much not to ingest the, either the clay masks or any other thing that, you know, I'm cleansing my face with. Or to get it in my eye it's usually very painful anyway after that i want to let it sit for a minute a few seconds actually it's very hard not to ingest it when you're talking
I know this vlog is beginning to look like a skin routine. <laughs> I promise we'll be done with this quickly. Again, depending on what I'm doing during the day, I apply some vitamin C. <laughs> And then I'll layer it up with some sunscreen. My therapist was asking me why when we finished our session, I was applying sunscreen, you're black. <laughs> you don't need sunscreen. I told her, oh my God, I cover myself with sunscreen. I literally, oops lather myself with sunscreen because i feel the sun so much hotter here you know in africa it doesn't shine this intensely so she was really surprised then i'm going to apply the sunscreen I'll wash my hands first oops too hot i always tell my husband we need a he and she we need a he and she sink because this sink is just full of my products and he always says no i don't think that's necessary he's that kind of a person who says that i grew up like this so i don't think we need it i grew up sharing with my sister and my mom so i don't think we need that it's not necessary so anyway this is from the same brand la roche posay i think i hope that's how they say it this is the spray this are they both sprays this is about to be done i've been using it for a year and more and I also have it in like small travel packs somewhere in the house. I absolutely love how this sits on my skin. It's such a, the one thing I don't like about this, the one thing I don't like about this is the fact that when you spray, it spreads and I can feel it going in my eyes and then my eyes start to burn. That's the only thing. So usually I just do this when I'm in a hurry. So between the two, I like how this sits on my skin because I can actually see, you know, the whiteness of it. So I just pat it on my skin like that and I cover my eyebrows still. and then I see blah all day so yeah I don't know if you guys know that I am short sighted so the moment this product goes in my eye anyway when I'm done with that I just apply my Blistex SPF 50 plus lip balm and it's really old because I just threw it in the bag you know from bag to bag so that's why it's so scratched and looking old. Guys, I have to say that I didn't sleep in this top and these shorts. I don't know if you can see them in the video. I slept in my nightdress, which is quite revealing. So I didn't want to do the video with it. Anyways, now I'm gonna jump in the shower. Um, and then we're going to go for brunch because it's around 11.30 now. When I started this vlog, it was 11.10. I'm assuming it's 11.30 right now. Then my husband is already ready, showered, dressed and everything. Because as I said, I usually wake up and then I sit in bed and edit. Now he's just waiting for me. So I'll see you outside. So guys, this is my outfit of the day. I wore this gym set because we're going to be walking to the restaurant for brunch. I have my logging stuff in these tiny bags. You know, my charger, lip balm. Um, sunscreen and I'm covered in sunscreen as you can see so let's head out hi babe so we are heading to the restaurant is it a restaurant or a cafe I, honestly don't. <laughs> I think it's like a, you get desserts there mostly and coffee yeah it's cake Hi. yeah it's that kind of a place i guess i can call it a cafe so this is our hood 
and we are walking to the cafe it's quite a distance from here it's in the central we only have one um what do you call it in english centrum it's weird. <laughs> you want an <laughs> uh, shopping mall. Uh, I mean, like the street it's so weird. With a lot of stuff concentrated. Yeah, only one here in this town that we live in, and that's where we are heading right now. Cause I have the weirdest headache. It's crazy. <laughs> My bun is not that high or tight, but I have the weirdest headache. Actually. Mm -hmm. I remember when I suggested we move here in this town, she was so against it. She was like, no, I don't want to go out of the capital city. I don't want to go to some village. We are not very far from the capital city. So at that point, I thought this was a village, but I've come to grow, to love it. Same it's nice. grown on me. I like it here because I like it here because it's very quiet. You know, it's not so concentrated. There's not a lot of people. And it's not, um, you know, it's not a metropolitan city. So I really like it here because of that. Yeah. So, who's the one that took it? Yeah. <laughs> That's our neighbor. And you know, I used to have, um, Electric scooter. Electric scooter. And now everyone who has the same time passing <laughs> by, she accuses them. No, actually, he's our neighbor. It. He lives in our building. So I think he's the one that took it. He's the one that we were going to Kenya two years ago. And I had a lot of stuff. I just bought a suitcase and other things. So I forgot it outside the main gate down. And when I went back to get it the next day, it was gone. Somebody had taken it. And I've, now I saw it with him. I think he's the one that took it. That is like the most general type. Everybody's riding. Yeah. He's the one that took it. Now I'm sure. <laughs> oh, you thought it was by a charger. <laughs> oh God, don't even remind me. I was so heartbroken when I lost that scooter. But I guess it was for the best. So guys, I thought that I should just mention that in the spring, these trees in a line, they have the most beautiful bright pink flowers and it always looks so nice so they always have them like planted on every street in a straight line if they can help it but yeah it's so beautiful in the spring i'll try to vlog in the spring and show you what i'm talking about it's saturday today so many shops are closed as you can see and most of the people are on holiday as it's midsummer is it midsummer or towards the end of summer but yeah usually people go on holiday here from july august yeah a few in september but basically this is you know the months to go on holiday here this is the mall our mall <laughs> When I don't cook, which is very rare, Ibrahim comes to this kebab shop. It's weird because they thought I was French. They asked yeah. me if I speak French. So I'm thinking they are from North Africa. Uh, <laughs> the Egyptians. Yeah. So this is his favorite kebab store in our town. <laughs> 